And the winner is Carlos Kleiber, Traces to Nowhere, a film by Eric Schultz for Arthouse Musique. Here's Jeremy Nicholas and a clip from Eric Schultz's film. Now, if I had to come back in another life as a conductor, I think I would want to conduct like Carlos Kleiber. I don't see I would want his personality. I think he made himself unnecessarily unhappy by this perfectly fruitless search for perfection, which kind of inspired him and upset him at the same time. So, but that apart, to watch Kleiber conduct is one of life's great pleasures. And this film, which is not so much a chronological study of his career, but a, a kind of almost a psychological study of him with some very good talking heads, those who've worked with him, sung under him, whatever, um, and probably slept with him, uh, and especially his sister, Veronica, who is extremely um, interesting and very moving. And you watch Kleiber the, in these famous rehearsal sequences of him conducting the overture, the overture to Die Freischütz and Die Fledermaus, and then the talking heads watching Kleiber as he does it. Very interesting. It was that kind of magnetism that he has that uh, the public, they were not happy enough sometimes to hear what he was doing with the orchestra, but also they want to see him. They want to see him, the expression, the, the physical activity, the, the unbelievable, unbelievable aesthetics. That is also very aesthetic. Nicht. Also nicht nur zweckdienlich, sondern äh, ich finde diese, diese ganze Bewegung von ihm, das ist pure Musik. Er war ein Ausdruckskünstler, ein Ausdrucksfanatiker, ein Expressionist. Genial wie Carlos, dass, dass da etwas zündet, was man nicht recht versteht, woher das kommt, das ist einmalig. Ja, es ist nicht nur die Energie, die der vermittelt, sondern auch, äh, wenn ihm wichtig ist, dass das eben mal steht, im Moment zur Ruhe kommt und dann mit explosionsartiger Kraft. But what an inspiring musician. Every step of this film says this was one of the great conductors of all time. Because just the look on his face is just one of ecstasy and pure, absolutely wrapped up in this whole wonderful thing that he's doing. It's very moving to watch this film. There's a wonderful oboist who appears in the film called Klaus Koenig, who gives a lot of very good insight. And he says towards the end, having watched the Fader Mouse Overture, he says, of course, he says, you can do this differently, but you can't do it better. And then he pauses and said, actually, you can't do it differently. Here to collect the award is the filmmaker himself, Eric Schultz. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I won't tell you who slept with Carlos Kleiber. <laughs> Um, I feel deeply honored, of course, standing here, but before I say thank you, I want to say something else. Um, it's not long ago that I sat in the Opera House in Berlin in a performance of Tristan and Isolde. After a while, I had enough uh, from what I saw on stage and therefore closed my eyes in order to concentrate on the music. After some minutes, I also lost interest in the musical side of the performance <laughs> and started thinking about what I actually was listening to. It struck me by surprise to become aware of the fact that the quality of sound I was hearing uh, from my seat in row 10 was obviously poor. So poor indeed 
that I'd never take serious a modern record of Tristan and Isolde on CD in such a restrained sound quality. Later on, I made this little experiment also in other concert halls and decided better not close your eyes in a live concert if you are not uh, by accident uh, seated uh, on one of the very best places in the hall. Uh, why do I tell you this? Uh, this made it rather obvious for me that we are all listening to a great extent also with our eyes. And um, therefore, as a filmmaker about music, it was very significant and important for me and uh, also for my team to get this call by Gramophone, a magazine about music and not uh, so much designed uh, for musical cineasts. Uh, was our film about uh, Carlos Kleiber, it was uh, our aim to show him and his unique art uh, in a way that hopefully, I really hope this would make uh, people who did not have the chance to watch him in concert listen to their Kleiber CDs with a different attitude. Uh, bearing this in mind, uh, it's simply the greatest honor of my life that our film has been awarded with this most splendid award from the best classical music magazine in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you.